Hi boys and girls, auntie and uncle, welcome back to my channel. Today, today I am surrounded by all side by Fu Zhao Mi Sua because I am in Sitiawan. And these Mi Sua are recipe, staple recipe for the people of Fu Zhao who they brought from China, the recipe of Fu Zhao Mi Sua, rice vermicelli, and they are drying out here in Hui En Fu Zhao Mi Sua factory here. They typically dry them out a couple of days to get the noodle ready. So Diawan, in my opinion, is one of the most underrated town in Malaysia, situated three and a half hours north of Kuala Lumpur in the southern coast of the state of Para. This town is home to many notable Malaysians, including the legendary Chin Peng. He is a very revered historical figure in the history of Malaysia. He was the Secretary General of the Communist Party of Malaya, a post he held until 1989. Sadly, after the Conference of Baling in 1955, he left Malaysia for Thailand and never to see his beloved hometown of Sitiawan again. But you, I am bringing you all over this amazing town of Sitiawan to all the incredible spot and all the delicious Fu Zhao food which I am going to show you. But before I do that, here is a little bit of the history of Sitiawan. Economic development of Sitiawan had begun after the signing of the Bangkok Treaty in 1874 and was further boosted by immigration. The key impetus to the town's development came from a large group of Fu Zhao migrants, settlers led by Christian missionaries who migrated to Sitiawan in 1903 as part of a project by the colonial government to establish a rice growing settlement. The hope was that the Fu Chaos would concentrate on rice cultivation and help meet the food needs for the Malay states. For that purpose, Sitiawan appeared an ideal site for the colonial administration, being far from the tin mining areas of the state of Para. Sitiawan was seen as their promised land, but it was a difficult one. The first batch of migrants lived in nine Atap cottages housing 40 to 50 dwellers each. The remarkable profits generated by the rubber boom by 1915 transformed many settlers into small holders with wealth and social positions. Despite the rubber slump after the First World War, Sitiawan's growth continued steadily with the construction of roads linking it to bigger towns. As with other towns, Sitiawan development was shattered by the Second World War and the subsequent Japanese occupation in the early 1940s. The town's subsequent peace and development was again disrupted when it was caught in the middle of the Malayan emergency pitting the British against the Malayan Communist Party for control over post-war Malaya. Today, the town of Sitiawan is revitalized and transformed into a regional eco-tourism hub and a push to promote local produce. It is super early in the morning and there is a long line in front of the shop because everyone is coming for this. This is the legendary Gong Bia. This is the bagel of the Fu Zhao people or the rice cake of the Fu Zhao people. Legendary has it that Gong Bia was named after General Qi Ji Gong. He's a famous, brilliant general, 16th century China he lived in 
and he was fighting the Japanese pirates off the sea in East China. And he realized the pirates can always find out his troops location because the smoke from the cooking that gave out the troops location. So he had to invent something that doesn't uh, required a lot of cooking and does not produce any smoke and he came out with this and so it's a disc like um, cookie rice cake bagel and it's mainly using lard onion and water so simple is that ingredient that Mr. Chi General Chi eventually closed on the Japanese and were able to launch many surprise attacks. It is very, very rare to find Gong Bia, only in a couple of cities in Sarawak, Sarite, Bintango, and also, I think, Cebu. But here in West Malaysia, there's only one town that produced them in mass, and that is Setiawan. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, look at that. Mm. It's very crunchy, but I thought it would be softer, harder. They make them in this gigantic stove. They start selling at 9.30. I was here like 15 minutes before and I was fourth online, in the line. And so if you want this, come here super, super early. Mm. Lunchtime, and here I am at Sung Chi Red Wine House, which all of my local friends recommend. And look at these incredible Fu Chao food. I have the pork belly, the red wine fried chicken. Look at that. And of course, you cannot come to Fu Chao without having their mi sua and also their red wine soup mi sua. Uh, here at Sung Chi, they gave me the drumstick. Look at that. Always comes with a boiled egg inside. And I have moaned many times in KL, I can only have this during someone's birthday. And that person has to be Fu Chao. But here in Sitiawan, I can have this every day. There's two ways of having this Mi Sua, the Tao Ke told me, which actually you can um, you can either uh, you can either put the mi sua into the soup, or you can have the soup um, drench into the mi sua. And before we start, we have to put this. I think you wonder what this is. This is not vinegar, but this is um, old wine. So this business started in 1940. They make the wine biscuit which I think you put it into the soup and that's how the business started in 1940 and just only recently they opened up this restaurant. So this restaurant is pretty recent. So I don't want to get too drunk because I have to drive but let's drizzle some of this old wine. Ooh. Ah, it's what Malaysian people call shock. Now, I'm going to try this Fu Chao Mi Sua, made locally here in Setiawan. Look at that. One of the things about uh, Fu Chao Mi Sua is you really can't separate it. It just goes on and on and on. So I'm gonna drench this with soup here. Oh, look at that. Mmm. 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 My God. Uh, red wine fried chicken. This one you must order when you're here at Sunji. Mmm. Mmm. So super crispy. And the pork belly. Look at how it's flapping. It's into my mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, my god. Yeah. This is the perfect lunch here in Sitiawan.
So I'm in a restaurant called Li Chou, and this district is called Kampong Ko, and they serve one of the most unique noodle. This is called Ru Lak. So it comes from two different dishes, the Lor Min the, and of course Laksa. So the two names combined to give us Ru Lak. And I have never never had a rulak and it is a very unique dish here in Sepiawan and it's with a lot of different ingredients and I can see black fungus and the Tao Keso told me it's of tapioca flour and also egg that makes the thick thick gravy that you see here before we start you have to put this in this is then the garlic, the garlic sauce that you have to sprinkle on top. My first rulak, rulak. Mm. Um, the fujiao noodle that they serve here. Look at that, thick, thick sauce. Mm. Okay, it tastes nothing like laksa or lor mee. <laughs> I, I. I really cannot describe to you what it tastes like, but again, um, the fujiao noodle that they serve here, look at that. Mmm. Mmm. And there I say, this is, this is the taste of Setiawan. Here I am. Uh, this food stall, there are, there's no name to it. They call it the noodle stall next to Petronas because it's next to the Petronas gas station. And they call it the noodle stall under a big tree. There's a big tree. So that's the name of the food stall. And I am here for the wonton. It's pretty amazing. I think there's at least eight in them. And everyone in Setiawan say you have to come for the wonton. So here I am for the wonton. This is then the golomi that you kind of have to order. And I've added the, the garoppo thingy. This looks pretty cute. Mm, that's it. Setiawan is a noodle town. That's why it's heaven for me here. Every single delicious noodle you can find here in Setiawan. And of course, every table here will have the Kampong Ko chili sauce. Well, I think I don't really talk much about shopping, but there's a lot of local produce here that you can buy. Like, I'm, I'm buying these bottles of chili sauce, which I've never, I've never tasted, but it's pretty good. And I bought, of course, the mee sua here and the fish maw for my friends back home in KL. So there's lots of good local produce here, but let me have a taste of this amazing golomi. I mean, the noodle here comes with a lot of ingredients. This one's got char siu. Mm. Oh wow. I hear the spring onion makes a lot of difference. Mm. I wonder one time. Dumpling, look at that. Mmm. 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 I think actually the highlight is the soup. Really. It's not the big size one time you find, but I think that's eight in them inside. Incredible. Wow. And imagine all of this, including my coffee, and this and this and this and this, it's all less than 10 ringgit. Can you imagine? It's heaven here in Sipiawan. And 
it's dinner time here in Sitiawan, and in front of me are two dishes that you must order when you're in Sitiawan. And look at this. This is fried oyster. Oh my god. I mean, I have never seen fried oyster anywhere else in Malaysia. They do it like this. Look how incredible this is. And how how many oysters they actually give you? I think it's the fish maw soup. Look at that. That um, they say you must order here in Sitiawan. There are fish maw soup everywhere. But I am at Soga restaurant, and this is very much recommended by my local friend. And everything in Sitiawan, you have to drench it with the kampung ko chili sauce. This is all, this is homemade chili sauce from Sitiawan that you drench practically everything on it. I can't wait, so let me try the fried oyster right now. Ta da! Mm. So, so crunchy. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Spicy and sour fish moss soup. Look at that. It has carrot, um, bamboo shoot, lots, I think tomato. Look at this incredible fish moss soup. How amazingly big this is. Never have I seen such thick and incredibly thick fish moss um, soup here in Malaysia. Only in Sitiawan. Yeah, I'm gonna have to taste. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. I can see lots of egg, black fungus, mushroom. They really like put the best of ingredient in every single dish here in Sitiawan. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so amazing. So, supper time, and I'm going out with the bang. This is my finale. And everybody recommended me five, seven, eight kopitiam. I think it's the, I think it's the, the house number, five, seven, eight. I don't know. But everybody said five, seven, eight is famous for their grilled fish. And I'm here, and this is the stingray. And look at that, I'm gonna drizzle it first. I see every table is ordering this as well. So, and first time I see grilled fish with lady finger. Mmm. Mmm. It's really, really good. So, it's not as spicy as the other grilled fish I had in other town. But the sauce is really amazing. Mmm. Oh, the sauce is not spicy, but it has more of a sour taste on it. But I must say that the lady's finger is really something. I have never seen it in a other grilled fish store. Mmm. Mmm. Love it. Now, I think most of the city that I cover here in Malaysia, you know, I cover so many of them. And you know, Cha Kui Tiao, Wan Tam Mi, you know, it's all, all this typical street food. But in Sitiawan, the, and I mean, the, the street food here is really entirely different. Um, of course, majority Fu Chao um, town, the only, I think the only majority Fu Chao town here in Peninsula Malaysia um, the next one would be you have to go to Sarawak. But I do think you should come to Setiawan. I mean, not only the food, the people here are just incredible, amazing. They, they don't take my money for food and, you know, they, they see that I'm filming and I'm a tourist. And they're just so super friendly to me. Come to Setiawan. 
the historical town. People here are super, super nice. Amazing food, as you can see in my video. So I'll see you in my next video, where I'll take you to another place to explore. See you in my next video, and bye from Setiawan. Bye!